Hi everyone, this is Vivek Dwedi, 4th year integrated MSc in chemistry at NYSA. In this video, I am going to tell you three things, but I am also going to tell you some bonus tricks at the end of the video. So, first of all, I am going to tell you the best strategies which you can use for IAT 2021. Number two, what should be the study material you should be using for IAT? And number three, what should be your target marks? And finally, as a bonus trick, I would tell you what should be your strategy on the day of examination so that you can score more and more in the exam with your best three sections. For example, many of you will be PCM, many of you will be PCB, some of you will be PCMB, which is good for you. So basically, there are two ways to prepare for a competitive exam. First is theory to question approach, which you have been doing throughout your year. Whole year you have been reading theory and doing questions. Second is question to theory approach. I have also told this uh, approach in nest preparation. And guess what? I am very happy that about more than 250 people which we had guided in past few months in our various rescue courses, nest rescue courses, nest guidance courses, nest mock test series. We are expecting at least five to 10 people coming to Niger. So with this strategy, it has been very successful for me personally and my friends as well as other people we have been guiding. So I would highly suggest you to follow this second method, which is called question to theory approach. So in this approach, what you do is in last month, since you do not have a lot of time, you know, that you start reading whole chapter again, what happens is that most of the students when they practice questions, when they are not able to do a particular question, they go back to the theory, they think the weakness is in the theory, and they again start reading whole of the theory and then come and solve questions. The irony is that whole year you have been reading theory, right? But still you are not able to do it. So what is the guarantee that throughout two, three months, you still read theory and you do not practice, then how will you qualify IAT exam? That is why I recommend first you should solve, practice mock test, practice previous year papers, and then check where is the weakness for example if you're not able to do a particular question of mathematics just check what is the topic is the problem in theory or is the problem with practice or is the problem that you're a pcb student if you're a pcb student having problem in maths i'm going to tell you soon and similarly if you're a pcm student and having problem in bio i will tell you a strategy soon so in last few months again i repeat the strategy to use is question to theory approach you solve as much as previous year papers you can as much as mock test you can and then what it will happen is one thing i can guarantee you will not be afraid to give the exam in the mock test uh, for nest exam and various courses which we did the students were really happy that when they were solving actual nest exam they were thinking as if they are solving our mock test so since they had solved more than 10 mock tests more than 10 previous year papers during the exam timing so they were very familiar with the question pattern and everything so it was very easy for them that is why i highly recommend you to go through question to theory approach now how to do it it's not just that you start solving question and do the theory right the correct way to approach this is that first of all when you practice these you should practice during the exam timing for example iat exam is 9 a.m to 12 p.m right so every day you should sit at 9 a.m to 12 p.m and then practice your mock test or previous year papers after 12 p.m after you have solved it totally for three hours again you need a practice of sitting for three hours and you know solving questions so that is one thing you will obviously learn here second once you are done with that now see analyze what are the mistakes you have done that is equally important part if you do not analyze what mistakes you have done how will you improve again do not get demotivated the aim of this practice is to know more and more mistakes which you are making in mock test so that you do not repeat in actual exam that is why analyze your mistakes if you're not able to analyze you can message me on telegram even if you have joined my courses or not i still guide them a lot of people approach me and they ask me various things i still guide them whether they have taken my courses or mock test series or not so you can obviously message me on telegram and you uh, i'll definitely help you that's not an issue for me then go back to the theory of that particular topic and read that theory only properly and then come back and attempt the same question again and do that until you're able to solve the question so that is the most important thing i think you need to know second is what are the study materials again that is one thing where most of the students make mistakes for example many of you might be j aspirants or uh, j mains aspirant or uh, neat aspirant right but 
as i have said that difficulty level of iit exam is in between jee main and jee advanced uh, most of the questions are close to jee mains some questions are close to jee advanced because those questions decide the rank right a lot of people are able to do the easy questions but what about those tough questions five or six tough questions which decide rank that is why i recommend jee advanced material because once you are already solving jee advanced material you are already ready with the tough questions you will be able to solve the easy questions that is one thing second thing i, I wanted to tell you that if you want uh, study materials and particularly designed for iit course very uh, scheduled manner for, for example about 30 days are remaining so we have already planned in detail that for these two days you should do these chapters of physics chemistry maths for next day you should do this next day you should do this so we have already planned almost everything and we are also giving study materials in our iit mock test series in that mock test series we are giving you more than 10 mock test papers so that you can practice not just that we give you the strategies okay we tell you the strategies this is particularly the strategy you should practice because when you practice some strategies may be useful to you some strategies may not be useful to you so when you practice a lot of mock test and previous year papers which we are also going to give in our mock test series you will be having enough practice that you will know whether you should attempt bio first or you should attempt physics first or you should attempt chemistry first what to do so all those confusions will not be there you will have solid strategy for yourself before you do the actual exam which is really helpful so that is there and if you want more study materials you can join my telegram channel the link is in the description or you can write in the comments if you have any other doubt now third one what should be your target marks so let me tell you what is generally the uh, marks which you need to get in order to go to various isers to go to iser pune you need to get around 120 to 130 marks in iit for iser kolkata you need to get about 110 marks to 120 marks for iser bhopal you need about 90 to 100 marks and same for iser mohali for iser tiruvananthpuram iser barhampur or iser tirupati i would suggest you should target for at least 80 or around that marks so 80 to 90 marks or around 80 marks that is what it should be so once you know this uh, marks thing i would suggest all of you when you are practicing mock test or uh, previous year papers you should target at least to get 100 marks out of 180 marks right because the whole paper is having a uh, total 180 marks what is the paper pattern let me tell you again the paper pattern is very simple there are four sections physics chemistry maths and bio none of this section is compulsory simple the more sections you do the more questions you do the more marks you get in each of the sections there are 15 questions each question has three marks if you do correctly each question is just single choice question there is no multiple correct answer in this and if you do wrong answer you get minus one marks so that is the marking scheme of nest exam so total there are 15 into 4 that is 60 question each question has three marks and minus one negative marking so 180 marks so that was the simple pattern i hope this video was useful to you the last bonus trick which i wanted to tell you is that what should be your strategy to appear the mock test or on the day of actual exam remember again practice this strategy with your mock test so that on the day of actual exam it is not something new which you are practicing right it may work for you it may not work for you that is why i tell you just try many strategies through mock test and whatever works for you do that in the day of main exam now what should be that strategy so even if you are pcm pcb or pcmb students i would suggest you should attempt all the four sections because if you are a pcm and i'll tell you some of the very important chapters which you can do in bio very easily you can prepare those few chapters and you will be easily able to solve at least four to five questions similarly if you are a pcb students i'll tell you some chapters in maths which are very easy and you can score a lot of marks in that so those things i will tell you in other video this video is already long so the bonus trick i wanted to tell you is that so first of all prioritize your subject for example bio then chemistry then physics and you can keep maths at last for example and then uh, give 45 minutes to first two subjects for example bio and chemistry 45 into 2 that is 90 minutes gone 1 hour and 30 minutes gone remaining 30 minutes you should give to third section which is physics now 2 hours are gone right now you have 1 hour left in this 1 hour left what you can do is give 20 minutes to your last weakest section and this will be your round 1 45 minutes 45 minutes 30 minutes and then 20 minutes so 2 hours and 
20 minutes gone remaining 40 minutes i think you should go for round two and start doing from top again your bio then chemistry then physics and then the last one in round two so this was bonus for you and let me know in the comments if you have more doubts more questions you can always message me on telegram whether you join my course or not i will be there to guide you i hope you get to some of the best isers in the country with that all the best bye bye